Good afternoon, everyone. Today we'll discuss the chemotherapy. Okay. So, first of all, father, father of this chemotherapy. Who is the father of chemotherapy? He is Paul Ehrlich. Paul Ehrlich. Paul Ehrlich is the father of the chemotherapy. Okay. Now, firstly, we will discuss the antimicrobial agents. Antimicrobial agents. Okay. So, first in this class, we know bacteriostatic okay bacteriostatic we can remember as select that is sulfonamide lymphomycin erythromycin chloramphenicol Tetracycline. These are the bacteriostatic agents: sulfonamide, lincomycin, erythromycin, chloramphenicol, tetracycline. Then we have the Bactericidal agents. Bactericidal agents. Okay. So they are penicillin, canamycin, cephalosporin, bacteriostin. Streptomycin, Clostin, Penicillin, Canamycin, Cephalosporin, Bacteriostin, Streptomycin, Clostin. These are the bactericidal agents. Okay. Now, uh, one classification of the antimicrobial agents as uh, some can be bacteriostatic and some can be bactericidal. Now, one more way we can classify it as they can be the narrow spectrum antibiotics and the antimicrobials and the broad spectrum. Okay. Firstly, narrow spectrum antimicrobials, narrow spectrum antimicrobials. So, in the narrow spectrum antimicrobials, we have uh, the, uh, the drugs acting on gram positive and the drugs acting on gram negative. So the drugs acting on gram positive, these are bacitracin, lymphomycin, erythromycin, penicillin. Bacitracin, lymphomycin, erythromycin, penicillin, these are the drugs acting on the gram positive bacteria now the gram negative bacteria these are gentamicin polymyxin and streptomycin gentamicin polymyxin streptomycin these comes under the broad spectrum drugs uh, sorry narrow spectrum now now, above I am writing the broad spectrum ones. Broad spectrum drugs. So, the broad spectrum drugs, these are chlorem, phenicol, 
cloro vinylones and sulfonamides tetracycline chlorophenicol fluoroquinolones and sulfonamides these are included as the broad spectrum antibiotic or antimicrobial agents okay. now we will talk about the mechanism of action okay mechanism of action okay so this is very important the drugs which inhibit inhibit cell wall synthesis the drugs which inhibit cell wall synthesis these are penicillin cephalosporin bacitracin and cumicin cyclo sorry uh, uh inhibit the cell wall synthesis they are the penicillin cephalosporin bacitracin vancomycin cyclosporin okay. now second class alter cell membrane permeability so the cell membrane permeability is altered by the nystatin amphoterosin b cell membrane permeability is altered by the nystatin amphoterosin b then inhibit ergosterol in cell membrane inhibit ergosterol in cell membrane they are ketoconazole and itraconazole inhibit ergosterol in cell membrane ketoconazole itraconazole okay now alter structural integrity of cell membrane these are colistin b and polymyxin b alter structural integrity of cell membrane colistin b polymyxin b now drugs acting on the protein synthesis this mechanism of action part is very important and our questions are asked directly from here okay now the drugs inhibiting protein synthesis protein synthesis so they are first drug that alter rna binding with 30 ribosome uh, a drug that alter rna binding with 30s ribosome then the abnormal codon and t codon binding 30s ribosome then inhibit trans peptidase by binding with 50s unit inhibit trans location by binding with 50s unit okay so drug that alter trna binding with 30s ribosome 
is very important tetracycline tetracycline then abnormal codon anti codon binding with the 30s ribosome this is done by the amino glycoside amino glycoside then inhibit trans peptidase by binding with the 50s subunit that is the chloramphenicol then inhibit translocation by binding with 50s subunit that is erythromycin and lincomycin erythromycin and lincomycin okay this is the thing inhibiting the protein synthesis okay now drug that alter base pairing drug that alter base pairing acriflavin and proflavin drug that alter base pairing acriflavin and proflavin cause the frame shift mutation they cause the frame shift mutation okay second inhibit dna guidase enzyme fluoro Quinolone inhibit DNA guidase enzyme. Inhibit RNA polymerase is rifamycin and rifampicin. Then. inhibit nucleic acid synthesis that is sulfonamide papa antagonist theek hai kya kya aate hain isme सल्फीन सातेन ट्राइमिथोप्रिन पाइरिन मिथामिन प्रोग्वानिल दिस प्रोग्वानिल इट इनहिबिट डाइहाइड्रोफोलेट reductase enzyme proguanil it inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme okay this is the thing now we'll see the combinations combinations of antibiotic like bacteriostatic plus bacteriostatic it will be having synergistic effect okay then bactericidal plus sidal it is again having the synergistic effect then bacteriostatic plus sidal it will be having the antagonistic effect okay it 
will be having the antagonistic effect. Now we will study the classification of antibiotics. Firstly, starting with the first antibiotic that is the sulfonamide. So sulfonamides, these are of four types. Okay. Kaun kaun se types hai? They are systemic acting, then urinary tract acting, then gut acting, and topically acting. सबसे पहले सिस्टमिक एक्टिंग सो इन द सिस्टमिक एक्टिंग अगेन देर आर टू क्लासेस लॉन्ग एक्टिंग एंड शॉर्ट एक्टिंग सो इन द केस ऑफ लॉन्ग एक्टिंग फर्स्ट इज सेल्फा डाई मिथॉक्सिन and second example is sulfa methoxy pyridazine long acting sulfa dimethoxy and sulfa methoxy pyridazine these are the things. for short acting we have Sulfadiazine and sulfamirazine. Okay, these are short acting. Then if we talk about the urinary tract acting, so these are sulfisoxazole and sulfisomidine. Urinary tract acting. If we talk about the gut acting sulfonamides, here I am writing gut acting sulfonamides. So they are sulfoguanidine, sulfapiridine, and sulfa. टॉपिकलीफेक्शन For the eye infection, we have sulfa acetamide, and for the wounds, for the wounds, we have we have silver sulfa diazine, which is a very good for burn. Silver sulfur diazine. It is very good thing for the burn. Silver sulfur diazine is there, and we have mulfenil. Mulfenil. Pus ke cases mein this mulfenil is used in the cases of this mulfenil is used in the cases of pus. Okay. so this is the classification of sulfonamides hmm. 
now we'll we'll study the some points regarding sulfonamides basic nucleus effective it is effective against pyogenic bacteria and its side effect if we say it is crystallourea crystallourea and urolithiasis why crystallourea urolithiasis because less soluble in acidic urine so advised to give urinary alkalizer and plenty of water along with sulfonamide therapy then in the case of avian coccidiosis sulfoquinoxaline sulfoquinoxaline sulfa Quinoxaline, avian coccidiosis, sulfur quinoxaline is used. Then potentiated sulfonamide is sulfonamide. plus trimethoprim in the ratio 4 is to 1 ठीक है सल्फोनामाइड प्लस ट्राइमेथोप्रिन इन द रेशियो 4 is to 1 देन देन वी हैव ट्रिपल सल्फा ट्रिपल सल्फा किसको बोलते हैं सल्फा डाइजीन जीन प्लस सल्फा मेराजीन प्लस सल्फा डाइजीन Sulfa dimidine, okay, and sulfonamides. Mode of action we know: dihydrofolate, dihydrofolate. Sorry. डाई हाइड्रो टेरेट डाईड्रोटेस इनहेबिटर डाई हाइड्रोटेट सिंथेस इनहेबिटर देन थेरापिटिक इफेक्ट फाइव 
milligram per hundred ml is the therapeutic effect. Five milligram per hundred ml. Okay, so this completes our sulfona mites. Okay. Now we have the next drug, again very important, that is penicillin. Penicillin. Okay. So firstly, penicillin is of two types. It is natural penicillin and it is semi-synthetic penicillin. Okay. When we talk about the natural penicillin, there are the two. First, there is soluble salt of benzyl penicillin. Benzyl penicillin. Okay. Iska naam hai penicillin G. And duration of action is 3 hours. Now we have second that is the repository. Repository penicillin. Repository penicillin. Or Salt of benzyl penicillin. Okay. So in this case, there comes first procaine penicillin G. Okay. Procaine penicillin G, if we talk about, we have duration of action 6 to 8 hours and this is only given by the im root okay as destroyed by gastric acid gastric acid okay now second is benza Clean penicillin, benzathene penicillin, and benzathene penicillin duration of action is one week. Benzathene penicillin the duration of action is one week. Now, after the natural, natural means that two are there: soluble salt of benzyl penicillin and the repository penicillin, or the salt of benzyl penicillin. Okay. Procaine penicillin G and the benzathene penicillin. Okay, here we have the penicillin G. Now we have the semi synthetic penicillin. Now we have the semi synthetic penicillin so in this again three classes first is acid resistant penicillin second is penicillinase resistant penicillinase resistant penicillin and extended spectrum penicillin. Okay. Acid resistant penicillin, two examples are there. That is phenoxy methyl penicillin penicillin and phenoxy 
इथाइल पेनिसिलिन ठीक है पेनोक्सिन इथाइल पेनिसिलिन पेनोक्सिन इथाइल पेनिसिलिन ठीक है अब आता है पेनिसिलिन इज रेजिस्टेंट पेनिसिलिन सो इट इज हैविंग टू एसिड लेबाइल पेनिसिलिन एंड अगेन एसिड रेजिस्टेंट पेनिसिलिन एसिड लेबाइल पेनिसिलिन इज द methicillin and nafcillin acid resistant is floxa cillin oxa cillin and resistant resistant acid labile, methicillin, napcillin, acid resistant, cloxacillin, oxacillin, amoxicillin, ampicillin. Okay. Now in the extended spectrum penicillin, again classes are divided. Okay. So first class in the extended spectrum is the amino penicillin and the amino penicillin is ampicillin amoxicillin decampicillin okay this is the thing then second class in this is the carboxy penicillin so carboxy penicillin they are carbenicillin and tricarcillin these are effective against pseudomonas aeruginosa and proteus species okay this is the second class now then third class in the extended spectrum that is the urido penicillin urido penicillin we have piperacillin and mesloacillin then we have last class amidino penicillin amidino penicillin we have mesilinum and pevmi silinum mesilinum and pevmi silinum these are included in the extended spectrum penicillin okay now we'll study about the penicillins okay different types of penicillins this completes the extended spectrum penicillin i need to know urido penicillin amino penicillin and the carboxy penicillin now first penicillin obtained from penicillin notatum first penicillin obtained from penicillin notatum then commercially used penicillin that is penicillin cryogenum commercially used penicillin is penicillin cryogenum ab agar aap natural penicillin ka structure dekhoge then in this thing you have six amino penny silenic 
acid with benzyl side chains. Six amino penicillinic acid with benzyl side chains. And in the basic penicillin structure, we have beta lactam ring through amide linkage now bacteria with penicillinase enzyme they 